Uh, there's some uh, hidden bosses here as well. I know Gumbo from West Michigan is here. Jeepers beat Perry Master to get here. Ooh, Perry Master is good. That's one of the names that I would call a hidden boss. He uh, was grinding on Wi-Fi pretty hard. Oh. I guess Cobalt it, going with the puff. It is a, he did say it's a best of five, so it could yeah. be. Yeah, opening up with the puff yep. is very important. A and Min -Min. it is Min Min Copal love. Well, he doesn't love this matchup. It is Min Min. It is Min Min. But as far as, you know, it's K Roll, K -Roll Min Min, um, not good matchup. Not fun. No. Not cool. Not and I think this is so funny. I just got done talking about no matter how obnoxious the matchup is for viewers at home, this is still going to be entertaining to watch. Yeah. Um, these still players are just so good. Like, and besides, this is the new you know buff what? puff as well. Yeah, the buff puff is going to be a lot stronger. And honestly, the, most of the hype comes from the storyline. You know, like, I won't be the first person to say Min Min is cool and awesome. And maybe Puff, ooh, almost a jab reset. And neither is Puff. But, you know, both these players are fighting for so much. And that right there is the reason Copal chooses to go his secondary in this matchup. He's so, so consistent with these edge guards. And I hope we get to see more of Copal's Puff in the future. I do too. So far, it's proven to work pretty, pretty well. Obviously, he just, through sheer intimidation, got uh, Jeepers off, off the side and uh, just got the first stock, so. And yeah, it's easy to say, you know, like, um, the edge guard situations for Puff are carrying the matchup, and they are. That's Puff's greatest strength. And GG's shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Coney shake. <laughs> just, just shake my hand. Why, why are you there? But even after that, like, there's so much more to this matchup. Um, Puff with the airspeed and the weaving ability. Ooh. We tech those. Okay. Um, he can get around the arms. You know, the arms cover so much space, and you can mix up rising and falling arms. You can we mix up the timing. Yeah. Um, honestly, there's so much scrapping Min Min can do, and it's difficult to get around. But Puff can kind of just float at you, weave in and out around everything, and yeah. then edge guard you. It does seem like. Uh, Playing against this minute, especially in this matchup, Copal just went Copal. He's teasing. Look at the Cobol. camera. He knows Why what we, he did. Come on, bro. <laughs> in front of everybody. But I think uh, Copal understands that in this matchup, Min Min has some just sort of dead zones that you can approach from that if they have one arm out or whatever, they can't do anything. So yeah. it's like you said, that weaving aspect. You just get. And get speaking of weaving, you know, uh, Jeepers is starting to pick it apart. Okay, rest again. Do it. You won't, coward idiot. No, he's he just, doesn't need to. Yeah, he doesn't need it. He don't need it. Copal no longer cheesing. No, nope. <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to win. And that was, it was a little bit scary. You know, obviously he had such a huge lead, it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. But after doing something like that and then taking 50% from like a good handful of reads, the the tiniest little thought leaks into your mind saying, hey, guess what? You could lose this. You could, do yeah. It's the Arcadian. Uh, okay. Anything's going to happen. Plant time. Someone's going to pick Piranha Plant. Yeah, somebody. We are in top 96. This is a top 24 qualifier, by the way. And we have a Jigglypuff versus Piranha Plant. The state is awesome. Two very good characters. Two very funny I made characters. A I made a tier list the other day. I put Piranha Plant top five, Puff top three. Just kidding. Nobody's ever said that in nope. their life. Nobody ever will. But uh, the plant, yeah. Yeah, the pit. Yeah, the Tui. We're getting a couple of clues on to how this matchup is going to work just off of one recovery for Jeepers. The uh, spike ball, the Patui, is... going to put in a lot of work. Yeah. And you know what? I, this is going to become a little bit of a counter pick war. Um, if the plant oh is going to be beating the Puff um, and the K-Roll is going to be beating the plant, I think Copal is just going to end up winning um, off of counter picks possibly. Uh, because this match right here is starting out so well for Jeepers. Old Counter pick war. Someone going, said what yeah. I just said. Going deep. Another nail. Oh, oh the, beggar. the beggar just at the tips of you. He's oh, toesies. He's oh, deep. He's so gosh. deep. Copal. Okay. I just, feel like, okay, so a little just, bit of story time for those at home who don't understand. Nobody likes King K. Rule. I won't say Copal. Copal is a nice guy. You know, he's a Copal's cool, a nice guy. Cool he's, a, he's a good he's a good guy. But K. Rule is a nightmare. <laughs> that <laughs> character is so frustrating and so, uh, you know, one-dimensional. He's got the crown. He's got the forward air. That's it. Maybe so two-dimensional. Yeah. There's two two-dimensional characters in this game. My good buddy Maximus mains one. Game yep. and watch. And uh, up B and side B. Let's go. <laughs> He makes fun but of yeah, the, the the puff is a lot more interesting to watch at the very least. When you get these edge guards like this, getting the nair, getting the stage spike, 
And with how consistent Copel is, you know, he's putting on a little bit of a show. Yeah, he's, go he's going for it again. He's like, you're in the danger zone. I will keep yeah. nearing you below the stage. And if Copel can win this one and it doesn't become a counter pick war, that just gives you so much more insurance. You know, you can go into this game three. You know, you got three games to work with. He had a low shield, can't get hit. Choosing to get hit by that was the move there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Seeing just, a piranha yeah. plant just sprint across the stage like that, knowing he's going for such a hard read was scary. Just I seeing got Piranha scared. Plant run is scary. It's like, but he, how is he running? His little toesies peek out of the bottom of the pot. His little leaf toesies. Yeah. Oh, and the platform. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's another stage situation where the Patui will just sort of sit on top yeah. of platform. So, like, yeah, you can sort of build a house with it, but if, you're, if your opponent's underneath it, can't really save you there. Yep. So Jeepers has to keep that in mind. He can't keep that pressure underneath those platforms. Piranha Plant. Struggling Ooh. and suffering out here. He almost got the grab on it. And you know, like I said, this is still, this is, uh, oh. oh. Hello? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, he just up through. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> but yeah, up throw going to kill even on the big top blast zones of Battlefield. Now got a last out situation right here. As he's going deep, there. he's like, you're in the danger okay. zone again. We got 2-0 up for Copel over Jeepers. Plant didn't work. So, uh. Who was, what was the first match? What? What was the first character he played? Oh, um, uh, second game he played Piranha Plant. First game he Min played Min. Min Min. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I just saw I it. I was too. about to say it. Gucci had no faith in me. I just like to talk slow. Just kidding. Anyways, we're going to game number three. This is definitely looking like it's going to be in Copel's hands. Thinking about some stages here. Thinking about potentially another character from Jeepers. We don't know how deep the pool goes. Probably should have looked him up on Smash yeah. Data. For those of you at home, if you ever want to see who you're playing in brackets, see who you're commentating, uh, see anything no. you want, you go to smashdata.gg and yep. it'll show all the history of every Smash GG bracket they've ever been in. Very useful, um, very interesting, Caught, see a lot of cool stats. Even if you're not watching someone, uh, you know, relative to you at a bracket or something, you can watch uh, your favorite top players. Yeah. See, oh, Mars has got a 98% win rate. That's crazy. That's nuts. And here we go for things again. Uh, okay. You know, working around the little plant blade, that little helicopter, uh, seems to be, you know, a little awkward, a little, little difficult. But Copel, you know, good puff, not struggling too bad nope, with not, it. Not having too bad of a time. Ooh, catching him as he puts the patooey back in his mouth. And we oh get the weak there into there the is. back air. Uh, the big puff balls boot. Just, okay, that thing's been up. killing for how many years? Decades. Yeah, true. All right, the back air is going to do it. Puff that one's been killing for about four years. Yeah, that move is huge. There's oh, good. being so patient. Copel is so good working around. Oh, accident, accidentally magnet hands to the ledge there. I know he didn't want that. Hello? Okay. <laughs> uh, pounds go straight through Patui. Excuse we me? learned something new here in game three. You learn something new every time you play this game. Like, oh, that interaction's weird. If you're ever doing VOD review, too, you know, you got to pay attention to stuff like that. Saving stuff until these last few matches like that, it's so important to not show your hand in games one and two. If you ever wonder why you're getting reverse 2 0 reverse 3 0 getting adapted to struggling in future games, just think about doing VOD review, watching your characters, watching your own sets, and uh, what you could say for later ones. Yeah. It's always good to, you know, study a bit. I was actually watching a Twitter poll. Oh, oh no. no. Very unfortunate for Jeepers. And um, yeah. we're going to hop right here into the last stock situation. Well, so Pound went through. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And what seemed to be a lead for Copel to build is no longer. We got Dare Loops. Just kidding. One. Dare to one. Fair, yeah. Copel oh, is so though. patient about that. He waits and reacts to the Patui. Holding shield if it hits, getting the grab if it doesn't. Plant kind of sucks. <laughs> Plant's, kind of Plant's kind of a bad character. He, he's, he has his, he has his uh, upsides, but they don't exist in this Not matchup. against. I feel like it's more of a matchup thing, but I also think it's like 50-50. Plant just has a lot of things that aren't aren't going well for him. Yeah. So we'll see how he lands. He does have quick hitboxes he lands with. He does have big hitboxes he can not oh, again. No. It have not twice. That's You hate to see it. You hate right. to see it, but good good job from Copel. Good effort. You know, he's nodding his head. You can see he says, okay, I did some good things. I did some bad things. I've got some vibes.